<coughs> Hello everyone. <coughs> My throat like <coughs> because I drink I drink ice. Good evening everyone. God bless you all here. Join me Facebook live. I will share as uh, suppose uh, but this uh, evening I decided to share my daily devotional message to all of you. So good evening everyone here. <coughs> my net. Good evening everyone. God bless you all here. Good morning USA. And also good evening afternoon Europe and Africa. And it's evening here in the Middle East and also good morning. Good morning already Asia. I know it's midnight. Hello brother uh, Danny Salazar. God bless you. Good morning brother. <clears throat> so I share my daily devotional message this evening. Do you have my net? My net was um, so daily devotional message. The topic, do you have a fearful heart? This is our topic this evening. So, do you have a fearful heart? I mean, it means is do you have your heart is having fearful from up? So this is my message uh, so all of this evening. Thank you so much, Dada Brad. God bless you. Thank you, Abba Father, for this evening that to continue to bless me to spread your gospel and kingdom. Thank you, Father God, for a strength that you given me. Thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy. Father, thank you so much for all such a wonderful blessings that you bless me that I pray this evening, Father God. I am asking, Father God, to pray that you give me more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I pray, Father God, for honest prayers right now, even though that I cannot mention all their names, Father God, but I keep praying for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, through your Holy Spirit, for steadfast healing, recovery for every one of them. I pray, Father God, that this evening you continue to bless me, to spread your gospel and kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I pray for the whole world and for all people. Father God, you lead me to the Holy Spirit tonight, this evening, Father God. In Jesus' blood, I pray. Amen. <clears throat> God bless you, everyone. So, good evening. Good evening here in Middle East. And my message, daily devotion. Thank you so much, Dada Brad. Good morning, uh, South Dakota. Bradley Barrett, what's watching? Dada Brad in South Dakota. So, the name of my topic is, Do you have a fearful heart? This is the name of our topic this evening. So in the books of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 35 verse 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Amen. For those who have, okay, for those who have a fearful heart. Amen. In the books of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 4. You say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Amen. Vengeance, even God, with recompenser, he will come and save you. Amen. For those who feel, for those persons who having fear in their hearts. But God Okay, it was saying that He will come to save you. God will come to save us. So, no worries for everything and nothing to fear in your heart. Because God is with us. Daily devotion message, before I share all my scripture. The heart of a man is synonymous with the spirit of a man. Which is the true nature, the true nature of the person. 
God communicates with people through their spirit. Amen. So God is the spirit communicate with human people. Okay. Through the spirit. Through our spirit. Amen. Because that is. Amen. Because that is where God lives when that person becomes a child of God. When you became a child of God, amen, through spirit, amen, dwell it spirit to spirit. Your spirit of the human and the spirit of God from us, amen, when you became a child of God, amen. So if you are not a child of God, amen, if you converted, not born again, the spirit inside you, amen, is not the spirit from above. Because the Holy Spirit of God is not going to dwell it in you. Amen. For those people who don't understand. Only the spirit of God dwell it in our spirit in this human body. If we are converted to be born again believers. Amen. Hello, Cici Luisa Zoratos. Uh, good evening. Watching from the Philippines. Okay. It was saying, <clears throat> God communicates. Okay, lessons. So, God communicates. That is where God lives. When that person become a child of God. If you allow any kind of fear, Amen. Fear or in Tagalog, takot. Amen. If you allow any kind of fear to overtake to overtake your heart, your heart will become fearful. You always you always hear. Amen. Sometimes that a person, uh, because you're always having fear. Amen. Sometimes you can feel nervous. Amen. Because you're having fear in your heart. Okay. And, okay, your heart will become fearful and predisposed, predisposed to be used by the enemy. Amen. If you or someone having a fearful heart, someone having fearful heart, they are adopting their faith. Amen. Okay. To be used by the enemy called the devil. Amen. The God of this world. Amen. The God of this world who wants to destroy the world and to kill people. That is our enemies. Amen. Just as the prophet Isaiah, amen, prophet Isaiah was asked to say to the fearful heart, okay? So prophet Isaiah, to say to his fearful heart, amen, be strong and fear not, amen. You are also encouraged to say the same words to your heart, if it becomes fearful, we need to always this heart to say, Amen. We need to strong. Amen. We have to say strong and fear not. Amen. Hello, Sisi Tina Tindal. God bless you. God bless you, Sisi. I miss you. So we always say to our heart that we need to be strong and fear not. Why should we having fear if we having a big God to help us. Amen. For those only the person that they having fear because they have or they have they they have duff. Amen. They have duff in their hearts. Amen. Duff thing about faith. But we need to. We always to see that we are strong. Amen. We are strong to face for all challenges. We are strong to face so, so many trials or any battle. 
Amen. Because did you know why? The enemies will not win. Why the enemies will not win? We have Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is our personal Savior. Amen. We have a big God to protect us, to help us. Amen. I love you, CC. Okay. So we need to always <clears throat> put here that we need to be strong and fear not. Amen. You are also encouraged to say the to, to same words to your heart if it becomes fearful. What you say is what you get. Amen. So if this mind, because this mind is the one to control of this body. Amen. So if what we say, if what we get. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit, remember, remember being a child of God. Amen. We are a child of God. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God that we always put here, always positive that we can do it. We having a big God, you know, the Holy Spirit of God always drill it inside this body. Amen. Okay. So it was saying what you see is what you get because the Holy Spirit is in you. Amen. In you to ensure. Amen. To ensure that your words comes to pass. Amen. We always believe. We always think positive. Amen. If what we say, what we get, what we pray, we need to claim and believe. Amen. Because of the Holy Spirit of God's from up. Amen. Okay. He will avenge. Okay. The Holy Spirit of God avenge our enemies. Amen. So do, so do not fear. Do not fear. The enemies of life. It's not mean. It's not mean that we are facing challenge. It's not mean we are facing so many trials. It's not mean, amen, that we are facing so many difficulties, amen, and something like we don't have power, amen. We don't have power or strength to face for all of this, amen. Hello, Cecilia Let. God bless you. Good evening. Okay. So it was saying, do not fear to our enemies on earth. Amen. The devil, the demons, the sicknesses. Amen. The poverty, disappointment, disgrace, unemployment, or whatever it is. Amen. Whatever belongs to the world. Amen. Nothing to fear to our enemies. Enemies, hello, listen, Peter, my prayers for you. Thank you so much. Now, uh, brother sent, listen, Peter, I'm sure that he's going okay already because he was admitted in, in ICU. So I called prayer warriors to send prayers for our beloved brother in Christ. Listen, Peter, the husband of sister Michelle sent Peter. So God bless your brother. Okay. So it was saying, amen. I will read. It was saying, okay, that he will avenge the Holy Spirit of God will avenge our enemies. Okay, so do not fear the enemies, how the enemies will attacking us. Because I know some of our beloved brothers in Christ, amen, our enemies was attacking them. And even me, the enemy is attacking me, but I'm still standing firm to the ground. We always, we always ready to face for those battle. Amen. Okay, so enemies of life such, okay, this enemies that the devil, amen, the devil on earth, the cohort of darkness, amen, the demons of the sicknesses, amen. The poverty, disappointment for other people, how the way they treat us, 
Amen. The disgrace for all this, the unemployment for all of this belongs to the world. Instead, okay, instead of allowing, oh sorry, instead of allowing fear into our heart, celebrate the Lord with song of worship and praise and boldness will will up okay will will up you to comfort in every challenge in life amen did you encounter here we are did you encounter that sometimes you can feel disappointed amen you encounter for those people how the way they treat you amen you encounter that our enemies attacking us especially this this our health but instead amen instead all of this we allow amen we allow okay we allow fear in our heart amen to celebrate amen to celebrate the lord we sing a song worship amen for all this challenge you try in your you try in your uh, try in your life even though the enemies attacking you sing worship song there's something like it's nothing happened nothing happened and only just 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 go and go and just go on amen did you know that i try i try myself only i sing a worship song did you know, did you know your body is different you can feel your body it's warm because you can feel the Holy Spirit of God inside you. So even though you are facing so many battles, amen, but you are still, you are still keep smiling, amen, and worship God, amen. You praise and worship Him because for those battles or those challenges, amen, we will not learn for everything and we will not be strong to our Lord God. Amen. So this, this, all of this, we need to allow. Amen. Allow to ourselves. Amen. So that we know if how we are strong to our Lord God. Amen. Okay, here we are. Okay. See, in First Chronicles, my scripture treasures all of you. First Chronicles chapter 28, verse 20, King James Bible version. And David said to Solomon, his son, be strong and of good courage. Hello, Mela Satrabeno, God bless you. Be strong, okay, and be good courage. And do it, fear not, nor be dismayed. Amen. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. It means God is always with us. Amen. Because God never leave us nor forsaken us. God always with us. No matter what. Amen. He will not fail thee. God never, God not fail. God never fail. Feel all of us. No forsake us. Forsake thee. Amen. Until thou hast finished all of the works for the service of the house of the Lord. Amen. So no matter what all challenge in life for all struggle challenge everything nothing to fear because in the name of jesus christ amen the enemies will not win amen he cannot defeat the name of jesus amen the power of the enemies only in this world you know what the power of the enemies? 
only whispering your ears, only to push in you, only to tempted you. Amen. And then you, if you feel weak, you will be lost. But remember, put here in your mind, amen. The enemies or our enemies will not win in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, amen, is king of all king, lord of lords. He is the most, he is the most high. And the enemies only on earth, not from up. Only here in this world. So he is not going to win. So then, we are people, amen, for all of this, amen. If we having fear to face for all of this, we are the ones to lose. And enemies is going to enjoy and happy. Is going to celebrate. Amen. So what we gonna do? Amen. We have a big God. To protect us. To help us. Because the scripture was saying, God never leave us nor forsaken us. So it means is, if you having Jesus, of course, our Father in heaven, He will protect us. So, amen. Because this is the scripture was saying. Amen. He will not fail us. Only we are people, okay? We are only people who feel for everything, but not God. Amen. Okay? Because until thou has finished, amen, all the works for the service of the house of the Lord. Amen. So hope everyone, hope everyone, to our brothers and sisters in Christ in this all over the world. I know every one of us, we are all struggle. And all of us, we face so many battles. Amen. Challenge in life. But this is the part of life of human people. Because we are all born to be a sinners. So then, no one having a perfect life while we are here on earth. That's why we need to focus to our Lord God, amen, so that our Lord God is the one to protect us, to help us for everything, to straighten us, amen, everything. In the books of Psalm chapter 50 verse 30, our God shall come. And shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him. And it shall be very tempestuous round about him. Amen. So Jesus Christ will come. And everyone, you don't want to believe it. But he is going to come. Amen. Anytime from now. Amen. No more excuses. I mean that he will not keep his mouth. That he will come or not. Because done already. He come already, he's done already, and he will shall come again. Amen. But sometimes people, they are very high-minded. Amen. They are very high-minded that they know everything. Then, then why only we need to study and learn what the Bible says? Amen. I know it's very hard to say something. Amen. But we need to teach ourselves. And having a good courage. Amen. In the books of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 9. 
and it shall be said in the day okay and it shall be said in the day lo this is our god hello sisijima god bless you de guzman we have waited for him amen so nobody knows if jesus will come what day or night what time amen or what month or whatever it is amen we have waited for him amen and he will save us this is the lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation amen so what the books of isaiah amen hello sisi what the books of isaiah chapter 25 verse 9 amen in books of psalm chapter 50 verse 3 Our Lord God, you shall come. Our Lord God, amen. No more excuses. No more extension. Amen. Time, he will come. He shall come again. Amen. Nor day or night. Amen. Nobody's no. Amen. He is our Lord God. Amen. This is the time what we are waiting, what we are waiting for if Jesus will come unto this world and to judge the world. If who was belongs to him and for those people, they having nothing about their faith and having fear in their heart. Amen. Jesus, amen. For those people that they love, amen. People they love to talk, but they don't understand. And for those people that they thought that they know, they know everything, amen. But the words of God is something like it's funny or something like it's only for having fun. Amen. But it was saying, Amen. Only Jesus saved the sins of the world. And this is the time, amen. This is the time that all human people into this world waiting for, amen, waiting for the second coming of Jesus Christ. If who will in heaven and who who in the nations in the lake of fire amen so jesus amen jesus through his salvation amen we will be glad amen we will be glad and rejoice in Jesus salvation before before i start do live i have some more scripture before i do start do live amen only scroll up i saw this a uh, video especially those in tiktoks amen I know people they don't understand TikTok and I know also some people they know what is TikTok about. Before I train in this TikTok but I stop already when I know what is TikTok all about. Amen. So I saw this video that it was saying I think some all this basher that changed the world. The you know the world. Amen. Who will change the world? We are people change the world. Amen. But before that, we need to change ourselves first. Amen. Before the world. Amen. What we gonna do? Amen. Let's focus our life. Amen. We don't think about anyone. Amen. 
Well, but we can't aware for those people that always saying, amen, something like they know everything, amen. You know, people, you, you cannot you cannot aware for those people that they loves, they loves to look at their errors instead for their own errors. Amen. So then how the world will change that even those people are not changing because of the pride. Because of brasses. Amen. You are not you are not still changing. Amen. How about the time will come? Amen. You are not sure. You are not sure if where did you go? Heaven or in hell? Amen. Did you know 100% that you go in heaven? Even the Bible, you, you don't have time to read the Bible? Daniel chapter 10 verse 19 and said in books of Daniel chapter 10 verse 19 and said, O man greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be unto thee. Be strong. Yeah, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was threatened. Amen. I was threatened and said, let my Lord speak, for thou hast threatened me. Amen. So it was saying in Daniel chapter 10 verse 19, Amen. All my beloved brethren, fear not. Amen. So we don't have nothing to fear on earth. Only one. You have fear if without Jesus. Because without Jesus, then how you will be saved? If the time will come. Because in the Bible, it's saying, He shall come. He shall come again. Without Jesus, then how? Amen. Of course, everyone having fear. Because they don't have Jesus. Amen. If you don't have Jesus in your whole life. Amen. And you don't have the Holy Spirit encountered, dwell it in you. 100% you having fear in your heart. Amen. You fear for everything. Even you walk on the street. You having fear maybe later on or someone stabbed you. Someone rob you or someone kill you. Amen. Because of the world today. So then if, if we read the scripture in the Bible, amen, that fear not, amen, because we have a big God. So why should we having fear? Amen. Because peace be unto thee. Amen. Because Jesus can only give us peace on earth and not man on earth or not the world to give us peace. But Jesus Christ. Amen. So we need to be strong. Be strong. Be strong to the Lord. Give him thanks and honor and glory. Amen. To praise him and worship him. Amen. And when he had spoken unto me. Amen. Yes. When the time God spoken unto me. Before I don't know anything. 
Amen. I don't know about what the Bible say. But when God spoken unto me, Amen. Now I understand what the Bible is. Amen. Now I can feel, no matter what, the enemy is attacking me, but if I call upon his name, the Holy Spirit of God strengthen this, this body. Amen. And it was really absolutely it, yes. For all, for all challenge. For all challenge. But if you call upon his name, he will straighten you. Amen. No matter what in life of every people. Amen. If you having fear in your heart, give to the Lord. Accept him. Put Jesus in your heart. And all this, all this scary or 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 fear, amen. Fear in your heart, amen. Jesus will remove. Because his father in heaven is the one to straighten inside your body. Amen. To nothing to fear. Amen. We having Jesus. Amen. God always protecting us. Because God being a children of God or a child of God, God never leave us his children. Amen. God always protecting his children unto this world. Amen. But without without Jesus, amen. Without Jesus, all complain about trials, you will complain. And you don't have you don't have peace of mind in your whole mind and heart. And you're always having fear in your heart. Then try accept Jesus. Believe that Jesus is your personal Savior. All the fear in your heart will remove. Amen. This is the difference. Difference between a person, even though Christian, but not believers of Christ Jesus. Amen. Even you are a Christian, you cannot feel encountered the Holy Spirit of God in you. It's different, amen. It's different from a Christian that who was a born again believers, amen. That deep relationships to God, you can encounter a miracle blessing, the spiritual gift, amen. It's different from the ordinary person that even though that they are Christian. This is why we need to pray to the Holy Spirit and not to pray to belong to the world because God is the Spirit. Amen. So everything, everything in, in life for every people. Amen. Nothing's to fear in your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, if you accept Jesus, Jesus will remove the fear in your heart. Amen. And then when you become a born again believers, born again Christian, amen, the way you live, amen, you are strong to face so many battles. Amen. Even those for those people that who was in a sickness, is not mean is not mean that we are in situation amen that we are sick the most important is our souls to be saved and not this flesh amen 
is not by saying that I am saying that to encourage you. Not only I'm encourage you or encouraging or encouraging words. Amen. But this flesh, amen, this is going back to dust. But our souls, that is the most important. Amen. So nothing is to worry for everything. Nothing is to fear for everything. What we are facing for every one of us. Amen. If you are battling of sickness, amen, if the time will come that God wants you to go home from up, amen, then it's not, this is not your time here on earth. It's time for you to go home from up in heaven. Because in heaven, amen, in heaven is eternal life forever to live. Not here on earth. This phase, because our age, amen, our age is going up and up and we are getting old. So this phase is getting old, right? But if we are in heaven, if we are all look young, no old. Amen. No tears that we are crying like here on earth. If we are struggling here on earth, because this is human body. But if we are in heaven, all of this, nothing. So in a short word, in heaven, is no more pain. No more struggle. Amen. So, nothing to fear in your heart. If you are facing for all of this, for these enemies attacking us. Amen. The most important is we face. We face this battle for all challenge in life, for all trials. Amen. We have God. I'm not I'm not saying that being being that if who am I? I am not saying that I am intelligent or smart. Amen. But only I am sharing to so all of you. Because number one, the world here we are in this world, we can feel everything. Amen. But up is paradise. Amen. And always, amen, always God is with us. God always with us. Amen. So don't give up for everything. Don't give up for all challenges. Amen. For all difficulties, for all struggles, don't give up. If you are tired to think, and you having fear, let God handle it. Because by ourselves, amen, we cannot do it by ourselves. Amen. So if you think that you are tired, amen, if you think that you don't have strength, call upon His name. He is very quick. Lessons to us. Amen. God knows every one of us. Even though that we cannot say a word, He can read in our mind. He know that He know every one of us are struggling. He know that that we are facing for this battle. But all of this, Amen. Sometimes God tested us. If how we are strong for Him. This is why we need to be strong to the Lord. To serve Him. To praise Him. To worship Him. Give thanks for everything. Amen. Nothing's to fear. Even though that we are struggling, nothing's to fear. 
God is with us. Amen. So this is my message to share to all of you. Daily devotional. Amen. Daily devotional. Do you have a fearful heart? Do you have a fearful heart? Especially, especially without Jesus. Believe me. If you will say that you know Jesus, but your relationships to God. Amen. Our relationship. It's not mean that you know Jesus. It's not mean that you know God. But through our relationship, our repentance, and accepting Jesus Christ, what be, that we believing in Him, that He is our personal Savior. Amen. Did you know what? For those who don't believe that Jesus will shall come back again, it will happen. And nobody knows. Only knows the Father and the Son. It means is the Father God and His begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The words of God is not is not is not a joke. Amen. And it's very hard also for everyone that something like they love to judge or. They loves to gossip. We need to change our lifestyle. Amen. For everything. We try ourselves to do good to others. We are all equal. No rich, nor poor. All equal. Amen. So nothing to fear in your heart. We need to be strong. You need to be strong. Believing in God. Amen. Believing in God for everything that God can do it. Nothing to be dismayed. Nothing to worry. Amen. Nothing to be like you are tired to think. Amen. Nothing to worry for everything. Amen. Because we are living in this evil world. All struggle. Amen. We can face all of this. All difficulties. All trials. Amen. Then, if without God, then how, how can we survive for all of this? Amen. Amen. Who will give us strength to face for all of this? Amen. Everything. So hope everyone you understand. Amen. Understand for everything that even though the enemies on earth will not win if we having Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Believe me. For those people don't believe it. Amen. Let's pray for them. Amen. Because did you know why why I am saying like this? Because Jesus done for all of us already. He done already. Amen. So then how, why those people still have having fear? You're having fear because you don't have Jesus. Or you will say that you're having Jesus. Amen. But you are not, amen, you are not encountered, amen. You didn't encounter what we call the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God. You understand, people? It's not meant that you are in sickness. You give up. Amen. It's not mean that you having a cancer for stage three or stage four, you give up. 
You give up the Lord. Keep going. If what God given us, let's accept it. Amen. It was right. We need to deep, amen, deep, amen, trusting the Lord. Because all of these sicknesses or diseases is not belongs to God. This is belongs to the enemies. So what we gonna do? Amen. Meditate and ask the Lord. Father God, where am I belong? Father God, I have still a mission on earth. Amen. You are the ones to know what is my job. Amen. Only God, He knows everything for all of us. Amen. So for all what we are facing, nothing to fear. Trust the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your faith without the thing. Prayer without ceasing. The Lord God, He can do that, cannot, that the man on earth cannot do it. But God. Amen. Nothing to fear for everything but God. Nothing to worry for everything but God. Everything all but God. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, we win the victory. <coughs> so this is my message to share all of this evening. <coughs> Excuse me. So daily devotion, do you have a fearful heart? And my scripture in the books of Isaiah chapter 35 verse 4. This is my scripture. And First Chronicle chapter 28 verse 20. And the books of Psalms chapter 50 verse 3. And books of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 9. And the books of Daniel chapter 10 verse 19. This is all my scripture to share is to, all of, to all of you. Amen. So I will read. Amen. I will read again my scripture in the first chronicle. I will share all of you. First chronicle chapter 28 verse 20 King James Bible version. And David said to Solomon his son. Be strong and of good courage and do it is the same as let's do it having a good courage to the Lord. Amen. Fear not. Amen. Nor me dismayed. For the Lord God Amen. Even my God will be with thee. What means? Will be with us. Our Lord God. Amen. He will not fail thee. God never failed us. Nor forsake thee. Nor forsake us. Amen. Until, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. Amen. So, good evening everyone here. I love you all. I'm not perfect. Amen. I'm still a sinner. But I learn a lot. I teach myself. Amen. I'm not I'm not being me that who I am, that very intelligence. But I'm sure if what God is share with me through His Holy Spirit. Amen.
So for all challenges, for all trials, for all of us, let's face it, having a good fight. Our Lord God always with us. Amen. I love you all. Thank you so much. Brother Danny Salazar, thank you so much. Brother Danny Salazar, watching from USA. Bradley Barrett, thank you so much. Dada Brad, thank you so much. And Sister Luisa Soratos, thank you so much. Sisi, God bless you. Tamil Yen Akinola, watching from Africa. Sisi Tina Tindal, watching from USA. God bless you. Thank you so much, Sisi Tina Tindal. God bless you. I love you, Sisi. Good morning, USA. Sister Lalit Sanoy, watching from Manila, Philippines. Lalit Sanoy is the one to organize, organize in the Philippines, the Paraguay Church, that if we, if we will do feeding free, feeding food for the street children, Sister Lalit Sanoy is the one to organize while I am here, still abroad. So he is the one to help me and to manage everything. Amen. That we help the street children around in the Philippines at the Paraguay Church and the Good Faith Learning founder Byron Gales. We are helping street children around in the Philippines. But because of this, but because of this COVID, Amen. I know every one of us all struggle and this crisis. Amen. But we don't give up. Amen. We don't give up. In God's time, even though it waits, it waits too long or long time, but we still continue our job. Amen. God knows every one of us. Amen. For all those people around the world. So thank you so much, Sister Lalit Sanoy, for always being there to help me and the Paraguay Church and also Byron Gallis, founder of the Good Faith Learning from Australia. Amen. As much as as much as we can help, it doesn't matter. Amen. So thank you so much, Lalit Sanoy, for um, always organize and uh, manage for the Paraguay Church while I am here in the Middle East. In God's time, I will go back home in my beloved country in the Philippines, and also that I want to show the world. I want to show the world that even those that we are not rich, I am not rich, I don't have thousands of thousands of money, amen, but always that the Bible say that we do good to others and to share our blessings. So even though that we don't have, amen, but God knows our heart, amen. And also this brother, this St. Peter, for all prayer warriors, I'm so thankful for everyone, all of you, for sending prayers. And also for Sister uh, Juni, uh, Juni's P.B. Libby, the friends of uh, Bradley Barrett, that she was very sick. For all of you who sent prayers, amen. Uh, brother Lesen Peter, the husband of C.C. Michelle Lesen Peter, he was okay now. And I'm so thankful for all your prayers. Amen. This is... This is our job that we are all God's calling. Amen. That let's let's do stand prayers to one another in this world. Amen. So God bless you, Brother Saint Les Saint Peter. God bless you, Melissa Trebeno. And also thank you so much, uh, Sister G. Madi Guzman, watching from Bahrain, my fellow OFW. OFW Overseas Filipino Workers Working Abroad. God bless you, CC G. Madi Guzman. Thank you so much. And C.H. Naresh, watching from Pakistan. God bless you for this uh, a young man who was in depression and struggle. Uh, let's pray for this also a young man, for this our beloved brother. Sister Ronda May, thank you so much. Sister Ronda May. You're always there being there for me. I truly appreciate it much. Sister Ronda me. thank you so much. God bless you, Sisi. Sister Rosina Akinola, thank you so much for all this, my beloved brethren, my beloved sisters and brothers in Christ. God bless you, everyone here. I love you all and thank you so much for everyone. So all of you and good evening from your intimate